Hi, I'm Daniel Andrews, owner and creator of the DAN Show, and welcome to my latest 2022 NFL Mock Draft video. Today, I'm going to break down the Los Angeles Chargers and what they're going to do with the 17th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. Now, if this is your first time here, I have one simple question to ask you. Do you like football? Because if so, welcome home. You're in the right place. Join the growing community of football fans that want to talk football all year round. Hit that subscribe button and join this great community. Now, what do the Chargers do with the 17th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft? Uh, first off, let's look at how aggressive uh, the Chargers are in free agency. You have the massive uh, contract for J.C. Jackson, then you trade for Khalil Mack. So, in my opinion, the Chargers are in win-now mode. So, despite not having a pick in the second round for because of the Khalil Mack trade, I actually think the Chargers could be a candidate to trade up in this draft. A lot of times, if you don't have a second round pick, but you do have a first, you usually think that you're going to trade down. However, the Chargers being as aggressive as they are, I actually think that they might be a candidate to trade up. However, there are no mock, uh, there are no trades in my mock draft. So, when I look at the Chargers, this is a this is a team that either wants a day one starter or somebody you can contribute immediately to this team. Last year, the Chargers hit a home run uh, with Rashawn Slater, and with with Brian Balaga being released, the right tackle could be the pick here. Uh, it actually wouldn't surprise me if they uh, target a right tackle and try to trade up in this draft. However, again, there's no trades in my mock draft. But at 17, you could go Bernard Rainman or, or Tyler Smith here. And both these guys could be day one starters. If the Chargers believe that either one of these guys are Pro Bowl caliber right tackles, that could easily be the pick. And it wouldn't surprise me if they go right tackle here at, at 17. But... Personally, I think they're going to go in another direction. My number one running back in this draft is uh, Brees Hall. And even though uh, Austin Eckler is an absolute stud. But by the way, how do you score 20 touchdowns and not go to the Pro Bowl? But uh, that's another topic for another day. But uh, I think with a guy like Brees Hall, you have a lethal one-two combination. Because Eckler's such a stud on the outside. I mean, outside, I'm talking as a slot receiver. That's actually what I would do if I was the Chargers, is consider a, a one-two combination. Uh, you could have Eckler used the spell uh, Brees Hall, or Brees Hall could spell Eckler in the backfield, you could still use Eckler as a slot receiver. You could also go Garrett Wilson. According to uh, the NFL Network's uh, Daniel Jeremiah, Garrett, Garrett Wilson's number five prospect overall. And in my mock draft, he's just free falling. You got Keenan Allen and Mike Williams on the outside. You can put Garrett uh, Wilson in the slot. Keenan Allen, you could also put in the slot Wilson outside. You can mix and match and do a lot of different things here. Um, in my opinion, you could go with either Hall or, or Wilson. Wilson makes a little more sense than Hall, especially in this day and age. you got a talented quarterback, add weapons on the outside. But in my mock draft, I have the Chargers go in defense. Uh, despite adding uh, J.C. Jackson, I really think the Chargers could still go corner here. You can go Andrew Booth or uh, uh, Trent McDuffie here. And... Asante Samuel was a great pickup last year, but you're in the division with Patrick Mahomes, now Russell Wilson. You still got Derek Carr. You really can't have enough uh, good corners in, in this division. So corner could easily be the pick, and you could also go to Kobe Dean, uh, Kazir White, uh, the team's leading tackler left in free agency, a guy like Nicobe Dean. Who, who in a pass first division like the AFC West, I think could be absolutely uh, dangerous. And that, that could also work. But uh, remember how I said the Chargers were going to go big? Well, in this mock draft, they go big. With the 17th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Chargers select Jermaine Johnson, outside linebacker out of Florida State. The last time uh, the Chargers picked a player at 17 from Florida State. Uh, Derwin James was an instant All-Pro. He, he was an All-Pro as a rookie. And I think that uh, Jermaine Johnson, if he is the draft pick, could have a Derwin James type of impact uh, on, on the NFL. Um, when everything's said and done, when I do my final mock, uh, Jermaine Johnson may be long gone. Most mock drafts, I see him gone in the top 10. And, and I think he's a top 10 caliber type of player. But in my mock draft, he falls all the way to 17 to the Chargers. And this would be my pick uh, to be a defensive rookie of the year. Put him out beside 
or I'm sorry, opposite of uh, Khalil Mack. And you have a guy who's just got unlimited potential. And if you're a fan of either the Chiefs, uh, Broncos, or Raiders, you 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 should be afraid because uh, this Jermaine Johnson on the Chargers could could just be an awesome move. But uh, this is my opinion. This is what I think. This is my mock draft. I want to hear from you. What do you think? What do you want the Chargers to do uh, with 17th pick in the 2022 NFL draft? Drop a comment below and, and let's talk football. Now, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. It's a great opportunity for you to be part of a growing community of football fans that love football and want to talk football all year round. Hit the like button. This is a great video. Give me a thumbs up. I deserve it. And uh, ring the bell. That way you're notified every time I come out with a new video. And I will see you again very soon.